the Fox 44 weather forecast with Weather Rage certified meteorologist Emily Kay. Hey, good Friday evening, everyone. We've made it to the end of the work week, and unfortunately, the nice weather didn't quite make it with us. If we take a look outside here in Texas right now, scattered showers across most of eastern Texas, and we'll be seeing these scattered showers as we go throughout the rest of our Friday evening into our Saturday morning. And if we take a closer look at central Texas right now, again, scattered showers and storms across most of the area, mainly down near Temple, but as we go throughout the rest of the night, they will start to make their way farther to the north, and here in Waco, we'll see some more showers as we go throughout our Friday evening. So if you have Friday night plans, grab an umbrella because it is going to be a little wet out there. Highs today only got into the lower 50s and upper 40s across most of the area. It was a chilly day today. We are below where we're supposed to be for this time of year, and we will be below where we're supposed to be as we go into tomorrow as well. But we will warm up throughout the rest of our weekend. We'll get to that in just a bit. But for right now, temperatures in the 40s across most of the area. It's very chilly out there. Waco, 46 degrees. And down near College Station, we're seeing temperatures in the lower 50s. So it is chilly. It is still chilling. We do have this wind coming in from the north about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Very calm out there, but it is making it feel a little chillier than it actually is. And it feels more like the lower 40s for most of us. Your future cast shows those, sca uh, shows those scouts. Showers. There we go. Got it out. Showers and storms as we go throughout the rest of our night. Mostly cloudy skies into midnight. Temperatures in the mid 40s. But by tomorrow morning, waking up to those temperatures in the mid 40s, we will stay very uh, similar throughout the rest of the night going into tomorrow morning. No scattered showers for most of us. But as we go throughout the rest of the day, those clouds will stick around. Right around lunchtime, seeing those temperatures reaching the lower 50s, upper 40s. Cloudy skies sticking around into Saturday evening. We'll start to see the sun once again. And then the sun will go down. We'll see a few clouds as we go. Into Saturday night. But by Sunday, clouds starting to filter on out. We'll be partly cloudy throughout most of your day on Sunday. Highs getting into the mid 50s. So we're starting the day off chilly on Sunday with a few clouds still lingering around, but overall, not quite like what we saw today and what we're going to see tomorrow. Temperatures starting off in the upper 30s and lower 40s across most of the area. And again, partly cloudy skies all the way up until lunchtime. And then we're going to see temperatures reaching the 50s, warming back up into the 60s by later Sunday afternoon before dropping back down into the 50s once the sun starts to go back down, but we will have mostly clear skies by Sunday night. Overnight tonight, temperatures dropping down into the 40s, mostly cloudy out there, very cold, mostly cloudy skies again tonight, scattered showers possible as we go into Friday evening, and then tomorrow, highs getting into the 50s, mostly cloudy out there once again tomorrow, but at least there's no chance of rain for your Saturday. It might be dreary, but at least it won't be wet. And for your seven-day forecast, that chance of rain really starts to taper off as we go throughout the next seven days. So if we take a look at that seven-day forecast for you here, if it wants to show itself. Here we go. There it is. Uh, temperatures getting into the 60s on Sunday and then into the upper 60s by Wednesday. Wednesday is Christmas. Not going to feel like Christmas. I'm sorry to everyone out there if you do enjoy the average temperatures for this time of year. It's going to be in the upper 60s in some areas like uh, Bryan College Station. We'll be seeing those temperatures reaching the lower 70s right around Christmas. So if you do like warm weather, you're welcome. And if you don't like warm weather, I'm sorry ahead of time. But don't worry, by the time we get to the end of next week, those temperatures dropping right back down to average. And we do have a slight chance of rain towards the end of next week as well.